Muchas gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Les doy la más cordial bienvenida a este que ahora es su programa. Mi nombre es Alejandro Franco, me presento con todos ustedes y les digo así sin definiciones muy complejas de qué se trata Sesiones. Sesiones es un programa de buena música en vivo. Diferentes bandas y proyectos musicales de diferentes géneros estarán desfilando en este mismo escenario. Muchos de ustedes seguramente ya ubican el proyecto y si no, hoy con gusto se los presento. Gracias de nueva cuenta por estar con nosotros y oficialmente arrancamos esta temporada de sesiones con Alejandro Franco. Bienvenidos. Hi, we're the Kooks. We come from the UK, the United Kingdom. We formed in Brighton, but now he's run off to London. You live in well, London. I'm a Londoner now, yeah. Yeah, and Pete uh, from think... Leeds. Leeds down. When did the band form? Uh, well, this lineup of the band formed last week. <laughs> okay. You've got to laugh. What are our influences? Stones, Beals. Beatles. <laughs> Beatles. Contemporary bands like The Strokes were a good band and are a good band, sorry. Libertines were pretty good. No? <laughs> that was good.
and it feels like touch, touch, touch. Ya estamos de regreso aquí en sesiones. Les quiero agradecer mucho que estén con nosotros en este primer programa. Y como se trata de eso, de música, los dejo de nueva cuenta con la primera banda de esta temporada, la primera banda que nos visita desde el Reino Unido. Y sin más ni más, les presento de nueva cuenta a The Cooks. All right, how's everyone doing? All right. So we like to play a song from our first record.
I got half a love for you So why are you waiting so long? Oh my love for you But it is coming so strong Muchas gracias again. Um, we uh, we come all the way from England. And this is our first time playing in Mexico City. Even though it's for TV show. So hello. We want to bring it down a little bit now. Uh, what fret is it on? This is a song from our second record called One Last Time. Can I hold you one last time To fight this fear that is growing in my mind I know I did this both all so wrong I know I'm not always all that strong A, B, C, D, E, F, N that reminds me of when we were free Before life began to tear us apart Remember those classes we thought we were so smart Someone's called The Cooks. How are you guys? We're very good. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah pretty good. I'm pretty glad to have you here on the show. Yeah, I was happy to, happy to be here, man. It's amazing. Check these dudes out. Look at these dudes. Check them out. Yeah, we got to say what the crowd. crowd. This is we probably had an amazing crowd. On this is one of the best TV this. shows we've done, you know. Yeah, really? Yeah, man. For sure? Well, did you, did you expect this? I mean, in no, Latin no, no, America? It's just different, you know, in England because everyone takes their time over it and it's like, they sometimes ask you to, you know, redo stuff. It's all quite professional sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here it's just bang, 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 and Great everyone TV was show. having a good time. Like, really Did you like it? No, Do you love it? It was really cool. To be honest, like exactly what Hugh just said. 
It's like it's it's very. No, but I I I mean it is very uh, different to most TV shows that we do. You know, we got to play pretty much a, a, a really short set for like you know people who like our music. That's very cool for us. Man. I take that like, as a complaint. Yeah. yeah. Please. <laughs> I have to ask you about the the, now, the record. Now you have to have us back. Yeah, of course. You have an amazing second album, <laughs> which name is Kong. I really love it. I'm a huge fan of your first album and uh, of uh, generally of all of uh, all your work. And I want to know uh, things about your second album, Kong. I know that the name is because of the studio and all the stuff. We know a lot of things about you. A lot of people don't. But tell something about your second album. How was the process to do it? Um. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, it, the second album, uh, everyone goes on about second albums and the way they are. And I, I suppose there is a, a level of truth in it that when we, you know, we thought a lot more about how it would sound, how we wanted it to sound. Uh, so the production kind of changed. We were going through a bit of a weird uh, process where our bass player wasn't around very much, who instantly isn't here, which is why Mr. Pete is here now. It's quite a hard time for the band, if you know what I mean? We didn't really um, want to change it too too much, you know. The heart of what we're about was, and still is, you know, pop music and 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 decent albums with you know a lot of um, diversity on them as well. Um, so for us, we just wanted to continue that atmosphere, not yes. you know, and, and have a giggle with it, and uh, and uh, and hopefully that comes across. Was it was it really tough for you guys? Because a lot of people say that when you have a successful first album, the second one is hell. <laughs> was it hell for you? Did, did you feel some pressure or something like that? But that's kind of what I was saying. You know, there's a level of that because you you know that people are going to listen to the record. But when you're four guys in a room playing music, none of that really matters because you're just playing tunes. And and the the, the kicks is very simple. It's just about you know, great songs and just having fun whilst playing them, you know? So you had worked with a really good producer, which had worked with a, a lot of, of great bands. Can you tell us something about it? How is it to, to get a producer? How did you choose a producer? I mean, it's like a casting or something. Um, yeah, Tony's great, man. Tony was, uh, Tony was suggested to us by our A&R guy. Um, you know, very wisely, he's been in contact He'd been in contact with Nick um, from the label for a long time since we first started working with Virgin, and, and they'd had a relationship. And he'd, he'd heard all the early demos and stuff, and you know knew our vibe. You know, a, a, a long time before we even knew about him. And uh, going into play with him was, you know, we learned a lot from from the guy as you know as as an experienced bloke in music and a, and a big big lover of music and brought yeah. out brought out the best in us. T didn't he? Tony was was a real mentor to us, big yeah, time. Really. And we were very young when we did our first record. You are very young. And still, and still young when we did our second. So yeah. it's, you know, having someone there who's worked with a lot of great people like Beck and, and Phoenix and, uh, and done some great records and be involved in lots of stuff um, was like really, really cool. But, but to be honest, we didn't, one thing I will say is we, did, we didn't go to, to Tony Hoffer because of his name and because he done all that stuff. To be fair, like we went to him really because like we all chatted to him on the phone and he, he was just a very, he was just right for our band, you know, he just, he got, I think he understood and understands our band and we, and we were seeking a kind of George Martin figure, someone who's gonna, um, was gonna be, uh, like I said, like a mentor and someone who's gonna help us out, not someone who's just gonna do what we wanted and he, and he added so much to both those records. Um, so yeah, I mean we've got nothing but love for him, you know. It's like the other cook. Yeah, big time. Yeah. How old are you guys? How old? Uh, I'm 23. 23. I'm 29. I've I feel oh. old. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm old enough to know better. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? 21. 21. You're really young. We were younger when we started. I mean, yeah. it's kind of weird. I felt so bad. <laughs> I think we were touring. I think we were touring when I was 16 and these guys were like 19. Okay. It's a weird, it's a weird thing to do. Well, no, okay, I look the oldest, so I'd have to get them beers. So as you're getting old, we're going to a commercial cut.
Vamos a un corte comercial y regresamos con The Cooks aquí en Sesiones. Estamos de regreso en Sesiones y tenemos a The Cooks en la casa. Eh, guys, how did, how did you feel on the show? Uh, really good, man. Is this live? And no, almost. I mean, I mean, your play was Fucking live. Great. No, no, I know our playing was live. But we were just thinking, we were just saying it'd be funny if this was all live, and we didn't really realize it's live. You have to tell them that it, it, it across Mexico it wasn't playback. Um, but no, we, we've had the most amazing time. <laughs> we were tell them it wasn't playback. Can we just say it, like? Because like, I want I want them to hear what we're saying. That the the crowd is just like unbelievable. We we check this out, right? We we've, we've never come to this country to play music. We we did a short thing in Tijuana for a day, but we've never come to this country, and like it's just unbelievable. Like people here, like who really care about music. It's it's so mad for us. Like, it's mental. It's, it's absolutely it's stunning, man. It's it's really so nice to feel like welcome, you know, in the place. Can I ask you something for your fans here in Latin America? Can you please give us an autograph in each one of these guitars? We're yeah, making cool. these collectors' guitars of sesiones, and we wanna we wanted to put your your autograph in there in both, please. On both. Yes. You're gonna sell them? No, no, no. We won't sell them. I'm joking. Here you are on eBay. Here you are. I hope it works. Ah, it works pretty well. Funciona muy bien. Everybody, please. It's a Les Paul. I feel how um, light it is. Yes. Yes. It's like a waste of talent. If <laughs> Be careful with this one. I'll keep it. Please protect me. <laughs> Thank you. La guitarra autografiada por The Cooks es una guitarra que vamos a estar autografiando y que vamos a estar firmando con todos los artistas que estén presentes en la tercera temporada de sesiones. Guys, thanks a lot for being here on the show. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Thank you, darling. Thanks a lot. You're amazing. Cheers. Gracias a ustedes. Gracias al público de Cooks. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Thanks a lot. Seguimos con más aquí en sesiones. So I'm a show on Monday, I was hoping someday Be on your way to better things It's not about your makeup, or how you try to shape up To those dyes and paper dreams Paper dreams, honey So now you pour your heart out, you tell me you're far up And all the bugs are like them for your cause You don't pull my strings, cause I'm a better man Not about to lie down for your cause You don't pull my strings Cause I'm a better man
Mi nombre es Alejandro Franco y no me queda más que dejarlos de nueva cuenta con la primera banda de esta temporada que visitó sesiones y que se llaman The Cooks. Okay. 